This is a long-running complaint about Britain that we're good at inventing, we're not so good at exploiting. Yeah, but I think there are quite a number of reasons. It isn't a single, a single reason. One of them is, if the inventions are made in an academic environment, and I spent a whole of my life pretty well in an academic environment, the pressure actually is to make the next invention, not to exploit it, because otherwise you run out of money. So it's originality, which is, which is the, the, the value which research conscious and so on attach to people, and not the usefulness of the product which they may have invented. That's one reason. The other reason, and this seems inappropriate what I'm saying now, if you write a book, um, you don't give it straight to the publisher and he prints it and you've got a successful book. It goes through a person called an editor. And this editor has a way of smoothing the, the sharp edges from it and in some way making the product more acceptable to the, uh, to the buyer than would otherwise. And I think that in, in engineering research or in, in inventions being commercialized, there is a need of an, not necessarily very original, but very experienced, an elderly person who's seen it all, who's seen it all before, who does actually fashion the, the, the craggy new idea into something which people will actually put money into because it convinces them that it's something which will sell. And I think that many of our so-called, I mean, not so-called, the real, real inventions which appear don't have the rough edges removed and do, therefore do not have the, the kind of attraction for the um, investor to say, yes, this was said like, 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 like wildfire. But if I'm you, guilty, guilty but, myself of this. But the major American universities, nearly every one of them are surrounded by companies that feed off the universities. And in Britain, there are, Cambridge is an honourable exception there, but that is not generally the case in Britain. Well, I mean, Bristol University down the road from me has sort of small business incubators mm. to take these ideas on. But what the technology strategy board that the government set up is doing is this, uh, this phrase I've come across, the catapult centre, to get across yeah. this valley of death between the bright idea and the commercially exploited idea. And that's where the focus is, precisely to get you across that valley from a bright idea to something that will actually make some well, money. Well, I've got a, a quiz for you here. Which country invented body scanners? We did. Yeah, I did. Answer is Britain. Which country makes the most body scanners today? Presumably uh, not us. Korea or something? Well, the United States. Which country invented trains? That's pretty easy. Yep. Well, we, we did. Britain. Which country makes the most trains now? Japan. Japan. No, Germany. 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 Okay. Which country invented the television? That would be Britain. John Logie Baird. John yeah. Logie Baird. Which country makes most TVs now? Korea, China probably. or South Korea? Japan. Japan. Well, the Japanese names, they're not all made in <laughs> Japan, but it's largely Japanese companies that do it. Which country invented gnomes? Garden gnomes. <laughs> no, I, Let's no, guess, no. shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Germany. Who makes the most garden gnomes today? I bet we do. You are correct. Oh. Britain does. So there you go. There you have oh, the problem. Science is coming known. Summed up in, in a quiz. <laughs> is, it, is it getting better or worse? Um, I think the realisation that we are not doing well is getting better. However, I have a bit of pessimism, and that is, I think, the, the decline of the West in general terms, the takeover of construction things, of making things out of material, uh, is drifting east. There was a book written in, in Germany in 1918 called The Untergang des Abendlandes, The Decline of the West, which is remarkably true. I mean, it's unreadable, totally unreadable. In English, in German, it's an abstract. I've done it. But the, the prophecies of what is actually going to happen due to the rise of the Indias and the Chinas and the Malaysias and so on is true. And I think we will have to rethink, actually, what the function of Europe is going to be and whether making things out of metal and forging them and so on is what our future is. It could, for instance, be argued, and I'm, I'm, I'd be killed for this, that fashion is a form of engineering because you're, u you're using a material yep. and you're shaping it. And it but could well be that these are the things we should look for new niches. Well, we're on a bit of a roll on fashion after London Fashion yeah. Week, so we'll, we'll, we'll end on an optimistic note, Professor.